heating up what is going to become the stem of the glass. And I'm kind of stretching it out to give it a little bit of, a little flair. Now we'll start working the foot. So I'm going to pick a spot right here, I think. And I'm going to heat a wider area. I think that, let's see, a good test. All right, starting to expand through a hot nut. When you're blowing, whether by hand or on a lathe, you absolutely do not want to blow while you have the glass in your fire. It'll create a thin spot, or I say it'll create a hot spot, and when you blow it out, you'll get a thin spot. temperature, it's not heating it up to the point where it can be worked. We're getting close to that now. Uh, this is pirate, this is borosilicate glass, this is not specifically Cornine's Pyrex brand. So that has a working temperature of in the neighborhood of, I want to say 1200, uh, I think it's 1200 C, it might just be 1200 Fahrenheit. Yeah, it's 1200 Fahrenheit. That uh, the glass heats up and it works. The temperature with which that it kneels is a little bit lower. Let's heat it up a little bit more. But when you're doing that, when you're do giving it a flavor kneel, a lot of times uh, 
with a very soft flame that has a lot more gas than oxygen. You'll notice some sooting on the glass. This is, you know, carbon from the flame that's gathered there. Don't worry, just add a little bit more oxygen, burns right off. But if you want to create a neat effect, you can leave it on there and then heat it up real fast to try to work it in. I've seen it done before, it's kind of difficult to do. Uh, if you don't burn it off, it's okay, it'll wipe off. Okay, so we've got a nice handle there that looks really good. But we're going to go over here and work our reservoir. I'm hoping the camera is, is capturing this fairly well. Okay, about as much gas pressure as I'm getting. So. Now I think what we're going to do here, as I'm looking at this, I've decided in my head right now that we're going to, we're going to leave the reservoir intact and we will flame cut the tail. And we'll just cut that part on the wet saw. We'll get a nice clean cut, then I'll grind it on my, uh, on my belt sander and uh, that'll give us a nice edge. And that can be fire polished later in the oven. So I'm moving my torch back and forth over the glass. Now, you need to, one of the things you'll notice is that I'm twisting the torch as I come closer to the chuck. I don't want the heat from my torch to hit this chuck. It's a very expensive item. This is an f lathe chuck. The chuck is not that big, but it is very expensive. Probably $2,000 or more for a new one. Here, so we're gonna, we're gonna check that out in a second. I'd say the glass doesn't look like it's running more through, so let me see. Let me see. All right. Now the other thing with the lathe is that you can speed up the lathe considerably to do the work for you. Now, I wouldn't recommend it doing it all the time, as you know, it is a machine and the gears do wear down over time. But one of the things you can do with a lathe, and this is a very viable technique, I'm just moving the tailstock in here, that's why I can't see it. But you can heat this up, come over here, and speed up the lathe. And if you have a nice even heat on your glass, this will spin out your glass. We are returning this flat piece that I blew out to a nice more even edge. That way when I blow it, it'll be a little bit more uniform. 